first, it got into his neck. It actually got into his neck. Um, and he was doing this, and I went, <laughs> Maybe like show what you guys got. So this is the first um, technical demonstration of TrueLight. Okay. So RGB LED panels are fine for a lot of applications, dive events, in camera. Well, the LED panels are being used for lighting. RGB is okay, but it does have some problems. Skin tone rendering, some skin tones are like with LED panels because LED has a very narrow output of red, green, and blue. So there's something that's quite broad, full spectrum, like a tungsten lamp. You sort of end up with skin tones and certain objects that just don't really look right. Yeah. But it's one of the things that are a lot of our virtual production clients have said is, yeah, okay, we like it. We we'll have to spend a lot of time doing makeup to get people to look right. I do a lot of post work, a lot of work in the grey to, to get people to look right. Yeah. So what we've done, yeah, we've done stage is a wall of BP2. It's a RGB LED panel driven by Brompton. Very common in live events, corporate and virtual production. On the left, right and top, we have some CB5 panels that have a red, green, blue, but also white emitters. Now, when we... Let me see if I can... Sure. Sorry. Can I possibly use that? Thank you. Yeah, well, it's, 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 very, it's very nice. I will be very interested in the chart. Looks like a much for that one. No. Yeah, it is. It's very nice. I mean, the. Yeah. So, currently, when the CB5 panels with the RGBW LED were made, we calibrated them so we can determine exactly what every pixel can do. Not just the pixel, but each red, green, blue, and white dye. When we connect these panels to a processor, we do get a number of options that allow us to adjust exactly what, how these panels manage the spectrum. Right now, true light is turned off. And the CB5 panels are essentially just running in RGB mode. Now, you can see there are certain objects on the build that just don't quite look right. I'm just going to move the chair just to hide. You can have spots where you can actually have it like very colorful with all the RGB that we do. That'll be off camera for sure. So, if you look, the red t shirt is too bright, it's quite vibrant, not very realistic. The tangerines kind of look more like tomatoes, as one of our clients happily said. And if you look at the actual content and the foreground items, it's just not particularly realistic. Mm. When we enable true light, you can see that immediately a lot of those colours jump into looking a lot more realistic. Would you mind actually ask uh, where is the true light on now? True light is on. Okay. So now we're mixing in that fourth emitter, the white emitter. Yep. And because we have that spectral output, I keep it. You can see that things like without true light, deep yeah. skin tones are a little bit too reddish, particularly. I mean, even on the light and dark side of the space, a little bit too reddish. 